Time frame, images of a generation. We grew up in a simpler time. We sang. Hey kids, what time is it? We laughed. Hello, boy. I can't believe I ate that whole thing. We cried. President Kennedy died at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. He's been shot. Lee Oswald has been shot. We fought. We loved. We were attacked. Japanese have attacked Pearl Harbor, Hawaii by air. Our flag was still there. Now these memories come to life on posters that can be yours today. Go to HowdyBoomy.com for your copies today. That's HowdyBoomy.com. HowdyBoomy.com. Welcome to the Howdy Boomy Show. In the news today was the results of the SVP, Silicon Valley National Bank, almost going bankrupt, being bailed out by the federal government to ensure that the deposits of all the people involved in the bank were fully guaranteed. They didn't have to worry about it. This bank was more or less exclusively used by people who, in the venture capital industry who started their own businesses, uh, were guided to this bank by the people who loaned them money to start their businesses to put their deposits here, and they would get a better rate on personal loans as well as their business. Uh, interest rates started going up. The bank holdings started going down because they invested in interest rate uh, sensitive bonds. Their assets were down. They had to sell to make liquid available to their depositors who were withdrawing money at a dizzying rate. The Federal uh, Reserve and the Treasury stopped in and bailed them out. It's not the first time it's happened. It's not going to be the last. <clears throat> I'm taking a look back at the time when I was a child, and I really was not financially astute, so I didn't know if any, many banks were belly up or not, but I know the Federal, De Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation now insures <clears throat> personal Deposits up to a quarter of a million dollars, and now basically by their actions yesterday, the federal government basically said all deposits, no matter what the amount, are going to be guaranteed. That's sort of dangerous, but we're going to find out as things shake out who's responsible for it and who is going to pay the price for it. Which brings me back to people running the government who think they are a lot smarter than we are, and I just can't quite understand that. Uh, I knew, 90% of the people across the country knew that the Federal Reserve was raising interest rates. They do that to combat inflation. Inflation is rampant now that you know it, and I know it every time we go to the gas station or a grocery store. We can't believe what we're paying for it and what the Federal Reserve wants to do is take money out of our hands so that things become less expensive because not, not many people are buying them anymore. Well, you would think that the people who were running the banks would uh, invest in securities that were not interest rate sensitive because everybody knew they were going up. Evidently, these people did not. And I'm always recalling this movie called The In-Laws. It started Peter Falk and Alan Arkin. And Peter Falk was a worker for the federal government, the CIA. Alan Arkin was a dentist. They were going to meet because they were going to become in-laws. Their ch children were getting married. Well, as it happened, it's a comedy, and Arkin got involved in some governmental business that involved CIA and counterfeiting, and Peter Falk sat down with him once, and he inadvertently said to him, listen, you know, you're not going to understand this. It's pretty complex. And Alan Arkin said, wait a minute. Uh... I went to college, I graduated second in my class, and he said something very, very apropos which holds today. Don't underestimate the man on the street. And all too often, our government officials underestimate the man on the street. Uh, at one time, maybe they were men on the street. 
maybe never, never, never were men on the street in their own minds, but everybody growing up sort of gets some idea what common sense is. And you would think that in government, with the more information you're getting and the more astute you're theoretically supposed to be, the common sense would rule what you're doing, but evidently it's not. They think that we're smarter than we are. They treat us as though they're smarter than we are. I remember Hubert Humphrey in the 1968 campaign for president of the United States against Richard Nixon did not trust the Federal Reserve. His father was a pharmacist, and his father told him, I can't believe 12 guys dictate what happens to the money in this country. And that's what the Federal Reserve Board is. It's probably better than one guy, but and, and evidently uh, they've done a fairly good job. But it's amazing to me what the federal government does, how they underestimate the man on the street, and uh, how they always come up on the wrong side of the situation when they do that. It also humored me that people were reviewing Colin Kaepernick's new book, which is racist, and they admitted that racism is now an industry, and that's why he came out with the book, because he needs the money. Racism is an industry. I don't think George Wallace was a racist for the money. He was just a plain out-and-out racist. That's what people in the South did at that time, the white community just did not think blacks were worth anything, which spawned Wallace's presidential bid, wound up in him being shot. But you could see how racism was always in existence and will probably never end as much as we would want it to because there's no law that anyone can pass that make could make me think you are equal to me, no matter what your color is, if I don't believe it in my heart. No law can be passed that will give a man ambition to succeed. And the federal government is constantly trying to do that. Now they call it um, diversity. We must have diversity. Forget whether you're qualified or not. Now they're going to go according to the color of your skin. We have to have a certain amount of people in power, in government, in business to make sure we're diverse. Well, as I said before, it all starts at the kitchen table. Go to school. Become a family. Watch for your children. Care what your children are doing. That goes a long way in solving the problems facing this country today. And nobody will admit it because they're afraid to mention it because they'll be termed racist. Everything starts at the kitchen table. Enjoy the Howdy Boomy website, howdyboomy.com. Uh, it's becoming a bigger and bigger website. More products are going to be introduced this week that you will see on this program. Uh, hope you take a look at it. Enjoy the memories. Buy some of the products for yourself if you are a baby boomer. For grandma and grandpa, if you are younger, there are posters, there are videos, there's a 1,000-piece jigsaw puzzle, there are um, luggage tags, there's soon to be clothing, there's soon to be a dating site, a financial site, a site for the baby boomer card, which is equal to, say, a Kohl's or a BJ's card, only it can be used anywhere. You don't have to go to their club. So join the peanut gallery, which is help going to fund our voice, help going to make our voice be heard across the country. Everybody else is being heard. It's about time some common sense was returned to the federal government, to the local government, to the state government, to the neighborhood. There was a gentleman, a young kid in a Catholic school that was escorted out of school because he said there's a difference between men and women. Hmm. Can you understand that? If that's the case, we've got some serious problems. Serious problems. I mean, that's how bad things have gotten now. With both the press and our government afraid to tell the truth. Because they'll offend somebody. The hell with it. Offend them. Tell them what this country was made on. Tell them what this country stands for. It's the greatest country in the world. 
millions and millions of people try to get here every year by any type of means that they can. They wouldn't be doing that if this was a rat hole. And some of our government politicians, some of our citizens want you to believe that it's a rat hole. Why? So they can get money, period. They're all in it for the money. Racism. Black Lives Matter for the money. Take a look at the leadership of Black Lives Matter for the money. Anyhow, enjoy the website. Go to HowdyBoomy.com. Join the peanut gallery. Buy some of the products. God bless you. God bless America. We'll see you soon.